Hey guys, welcome to Wrestling Days and welcome to today's Unseen video. This is where we round up all the talking points from social media and we have a bit of a top story. This is just really intriguing from Cody Rhodes. So Cody Rhodes has done an interview. We've got the page here from Fightful. Um, but the interview was with Dana Roselli of Vegas Revealed, right? And this was all to do with what's going to be the main event of wrestlemania 41 is it going to be a triple threat is it cody against rock against roman or is it going to be cody against rock what's the situation and i think this quote is really interesting right there are so many rumors circulating it eats up the social feed all the different rumors of what the matches might be the hardest thing to do in wwe sports entertainment pro wrestling in general is not to win the wwe title the hardest thing to do is to main event wrestlemania i don't care what the rumor is as long as the rumor is I'm in the main event of WrestleMania, right? So I love that. Great answer. That's not the intriguing bit, though. I'm good with it. What I can say, for those that keep an eye on the rumor, I bet you what they get at WrestleMania 41 is unexpected, even to them. Even the people who follow this, the diehards, who feel like they have their finger on the pulse this one is going to be tough. This one is going to be unexpected, is the best way to put it, but in the best of ways. What does that mean? If you've got your finger on the pulse, if you think you know what is happening at WrestleMania 41, Cody is saying, even to you, this is going to be unexpected, but in the best way. Right now, they will absolutely know what the main event of WrestleMania is, right? It might not be penned in, but it will certainly be uh, penciled in and quite firmly as well. They'll have a working idea that can, of course, change. But um, so, yeah, he, I think he is part of that. And I don't know. I'm wondering him, Cena. That's what I'm thinking. Or, or is it just a swerve? Is it just a case that he doesn't quite know himself? There's a few options on the table and he's thinking, if I don't know, then there's no way the fans can know. So I wonder if he's coming at it from that point of view. Or is it just going to be the triple threat? Or is it him rock and he's just building up the hype? I don't know. I really don't know. But I thought it was a very, very interesting quote. So there we go. That is uh, Cody. Uh, we can go straight into at WWE news, and this was bonkers, right? So, Edward, thank you. Uh, Edward tagging me in this as soon as it came through. So, WrestleTalk reporting that WWE's parent company, TKO uh, Group Holdings, have announced a definite agreement to acquire to purchase the professional bull riders, the PBR. I never knew this was a thing. I never knew that this was an actual entity. I'm not shocked that there are professional bull riders. What shocks me more is that they've been purchased at $3.2 billion. <laughs> what the... $3.2 billion. I thought it would be like 50 cowboys in a shed with one of those machines that tries to, you know, get you off. And they have like a time to see how long you can survive. In, in my mind, that's the professional bull riders uh, league, right? Not a $3.2 billion, you know, corporation franchise whatever like this is organization this is incredible incredible we actually during our member stream went on their website they've got balls obviously but uh, they've got a section on their website that's got them all listed they've got names like the undertaker the intimidator stuff like this my personal favorite i'm legit too a ball with self-confidence issues uh, that wants you to know that they're legit as well. I'm legit too. 
<laughs> don't, <laughs> don't forget about me, guys. I'm legit too. Uh, I love that ball. I love that ball. I need to get an I'm legit too shirt. I'm an I'm legit too stand now. Um, just, oh, so fun. So fun. This is like one of my favorite stories. I could spend so long talking about this. We just did nearly 15 minutes on this on the member stream. So uh, really, really good. But we've got so much to get through. We have to move on. But there we go. Professional ball riding. I can't wait for that crossover. I can't wait. I can't wait to see WWE superstars over at the uh, professional ball riding. And I am so down for doing watch alongs. Maybe not on a regular basis, but they must have big pay-per-views or something. I'm so down for that. That, to me, would just be what a Saturday night that would be. I'm guessing it's on a Saturday night. I have literally no idea. Until 11 hours ago, I didn't, I'd never even heard of it. So, oh, God, so good. So good. Uh, Edward, shout out to you. Tagging me again. Look, getting in early doors. WrestleMania uh, reporting this from WrestleVotes that uh, the host city for Elimination Chamber now seems to be headed north of the border. Not Scotland, Canada, that border. So it looks like Canada's going to be getting Elimination Chamber. This was the show that was rumored for Birmingham or Manchester. Then all of a sudden London was getting mentioned. Then Canada was getting mentioned. Looks like Canada's going to get this. But it's not all bad news for us in the UK. Apparently the reason why Canada's getting it is because they are looking at a bigger show for the UK. So maybe not all bad but um, Birmingham's moment in the spotlight has definitely come and gone, which I can't say is a big surprise. Uh, CM Chunk, shout out to you. So WrestleOps saying there have been whispers and comments that women are now getting paid at the level of men with their new deals in WWE. So uh, there we go. I mean, to me, obviously, men, women should be paid the same, but you should be paid on what you contribute. Like, you know, maybe it should be done on appearances or something like this. You know, it's bonkers that women get paid less than men. I mean, that needs to change. So this is obviously great news. But just in general, opening it out to a wider conversation. Um, uh, yeah, I think like being paid for the amount of time that you're on screen makes sense. But then I suppose you never quite know when you sign that three year deal, like how much time you're going to be used on screen because you're used as much as creative can find some for you. So that's probably quite difficult, isn't it? So, but I mean, look, nothing but good news there, men, women. We're just people at the end of the day, aren't we? Come on, guys. It's 2024. Get with it. Uh, Mitchell, shout out to you. WWE looking to hire a new director of uh, music strategy and operations. So this is good news. You know, you know me. I'm not a hater. I'm a lover. But uh, bye, Def Rebel. <laughs> <laughs> by death rebel it it, it it was an experience it didn't work out but um god bless you in your future endeavors so uh i don't like to see anyone fired i wish that it had worked out it hasn't i can't say i'm a fan of the music that they've been creating it's very generic i think it's a very difficult job very difficult because I think wrestlers have got more generic as time has gone by. You know, we all think back to Jim Johnston, but Jim Johnston had lots of gimmicks and characters that he could play around with, right? That he could have fun with in the theme music. It's not that way now. Now everyone's just using normal names. So it's hard to find a way of kind of making their characters stand out using music so it is it is difficult i am gonna give them that but hopefully someone else can now come in and really take this forward so yeah good and then uh we got this as well so uh this was just stephanie she shared uh wrestlemania trailer obviously a lot of superstars coming out talking about the combo tickets that go on sale on friday i don't know if it's only combo tickets or if it's like some single tickets as well. But basically, some form of ticket is available on Friday. I've been tagged in the prices. I can't say I'm shocked. You know, they're very expensive. What I am shocked about or annoyed at is the dynamic pricing. And I don't really get it because in my mind, like the tickets aren't on sale yet. 
Like, everything says Friday, Friday, Friday. So I don't really get how dynamic pricing has already kicked in. But people are saying that tickets that start out at $700 are very quickly turning into $2,000 because of dynamic pricing. Dynamic pricing um, hit the headlines over here in the UK with Oasis because Oasis were charging £130, £150 for standing tickets. And by the time you got to the front of the queue... Those tickets had magically become 350, 380, right? 400. Because the more demand there is, the higher the price keeps going up, which is just so appalling because, like, surely you just charge, you know, dy dynamic pricing is awful. It's just awful. It makes sense. But for me, it doesn't make sense for a WrestleMania because WrestleMania is surely going to sell out. Surely it's going to sell out. So everyone's going to want to buy the tickets. So surely you just, like, maybe if it was the day before the show, you know, and you had a few tickets left over and maybe you pushed the price up, like, maybe I could live with that a bit better. But these are people that are trying to get the tickets on the day they go on sale. And all of a sudden the price has gone from, like 150 to or, or 700 to 2000 like oh dynamic pricing man hate it i uh, hate it listen it's the world we live in yeah capitalism it's the world we live in but i hope there's plenty of uh pushback against dynamic pricing because that's something that i really don't want to see sticking around but i've got a horrible feeling that it will but anyway um stephanie shared information about wrestlemania tickets and she was like can't wait to see, be there can't wait to see everyone at las vegas kind of confirming that she is going to be at that show which is no great surprise i think she said she'd been at every show since like wrestlemania 4 or some every wrestlemania in some capacity so not a great surprise but uh, a talking point all the same so uh mattel thank you appreciate it so that was uh top story done that was wwe done we do have uh obviously some wyatt stuff gotta tell you uh, we need to have a conversation here uh about carrion and uh my concerns are just not going away i've got i've got two big concerns my first concern is that he's really good and he is gonna overshadow uh Bo is gonna overshadow the wyatt six he is someone that is really dialed in he is someone that you give him an opportunity i think he's had so many half chances that he's tried to make the most out of that if you give him something like this which is a real opportunity to get some tv time to reach out to the fans and let them know what you are all about he will grab that with both hands he is not someone that is just going to sit there and wait for creative to tell him what to say he is going to go out and he is going to create promos like this, right? He's been doing this for a long time. He's been making noise for a long time. It's just have enough people been paying attention. I'm worried. I'm worried he's going to eclipse what the Wyatt Six kind of counter with because he is a force, right, on social media. So that's concern number one. Concern number two, and this is just in general, really. This is a concern I've got with Triple H's booking. Heels are meant to be hated, right? At their core, they're meant to be hated. We're meant to root for the baby faces. And certainly in this case, we want as many people as possible to root for the Wyatt Six. It's the Wyatt Six. It's got Wyndham connections. You know, we're trying to establish this group. They were discarded. They were pushed aside. We should be feeling sorry for them. This should be their moment. That's the story that we're trying to tell with the Wyatt Six. Now, I understand that Carrion needs to get his I understand that he needs to shine in this feud, and we all want him to, but he can't be doing it at the expense of, like, getting sympathy. He can't be doing it by trying to show us that he is right, right? And he's trying to make points to show that, actually, no, I'm in the right, they're in the wrong. Because there will be some people that see it his way, that then may turn on the Wyatt Six, and that's not what we're trying to do. 
heels, faces. A lot of people might say, oh, that's in the past. It isn't. It isn't. That's what the industry is still built on. People we like, people we don't like, people we cheer, people we boo. I understand people like blurring the lines and all of that kind of stuff, but... I don't know, man. I'm just worried that if this is a road that we're going down of blurring the lines and all this kind of stuff, you are ultimately splitting the fans. You are splitting the fans. Now, the reason why we're talking about this is because this is a brilliant video package, right? Let me see if I can whoosh it over and we'll kind of have a look at it uh, together, shall we? So here, look, Carrion says, uh, VHS tapes, static interference, punishing the guilty, reviving the discarded, cryptic messages, targeting liars, exposing the truth, my influence started before this even began. How much of the truth do you really want to know? How far would you like to go down the real rabbit hole? Follow with me and I'll always tell you the truth and i gotta tell you look there's people responding saying i'm ready i shall follow good this is just the beginning dub cross you know this is people responding saying this is going to be good and all of that this is going to be good you but people saying you are the truth do you know what i mean there's people here responding that are buying into already like, you know, basically, are you going to follow the Wyatt Six or are you going to follow Carrion Cross? You're going to have to make a choice. And if you're going to follow Carrion Cross, well, I mean, I don't know that you can follow the Wyatt Six as well. You can listen to both. Of course you can, right? Of course you can. But that to me is kind of what we're doing here. Look, follow with me. I'll always tell you the truth. Come with me yeah come with me i'll show you the real truth and there's people in the comments going okay yeah yeah i'll follow you i'll come with you so uh, if they're gonna side with carrion if they're gonna believe carrion if they're gonna be followers of carrion in this feud does that mean that they turn their back on the y at six because that can't be what we're trying to achieve just a question just a thought just something I wanted to float. We watch the video. So uh, here we go. Look, this is good. Uh, hopefully it doesn't hit us with copyright, but uh, let's see what's said. We're back and here's our television main event. I would like to speak with you all today about the most urgent world event that is about to occur. They're all liars. And they can go to hell. I'm just here to show you the truth. The devil you know versus the devils you know. For the last several years, Lucha and my purpose, my testament, has been to show the world just how corrupt they really are. By breaking them on the inside. But now, we're going to break them on the outside. Can you see it yet? Soon, you will. It's good, isn't it? I mean, that is the kind of video that the Wyatt Six could put out, in all fairness. I mean, it's, it's intriguing. I mean, this is going to be a great feud. I just hope that there are ways that the Wyatt Six can show that Carrion is not a good person. I hope there are ways they can show that he is not to be trusted, that he is a bad energy, that he has bad intentions. I hope they can find ways of proving that, of showing that. Otherwise, I'm worried he will convince people that he is the truth and that he should be followed. I love Carrion. I love, I love Scarlet, love Carrion. I love this feud. I'm super, super invested. I'm just really, I'm keeping an eye on the booking. I'm looking at the booking. I'm looking at the creative. I'm trying to figure out how are we booking this? 
what what how do these pieces fit together it's so interesting we've got so much to talk about with this i know we've already spoke a lot about it but i had a lot to say so uh definitely one that we need to keep an eye on i think that this is really interesting and um yeah let's go let's see where it leads us shall we but just a couple of concerns in the early stages uh nikki cross must be the season of the witch says nikki <laughs> <laughs> she is great that was great this is great as well so uh tjf1983 shout out to you so this is ashley uh yowie wowie who uh we follow on social media and uh uh this year we wanted to do something in honor of bray and while the location wasn't perfect we tried to make it work well they ate they absolutely killed it right so here look um so well shot as well i mean uh, like like with the uh, editing and everything incredible look at this this is like legit scary isn't it but amazing editing skills so impressive look at that the bride pointing over look at that so that's like a, a, a lily that's been brought to life with a lily mask which is fantastic. So good. I've had to take the sound off, of course. But uh, here we go. Look at that. Have they actually written that on their stairs? <laughs> there you are. Legit. If this was like a little TV series thing, like a little YouTube, you know, they put a new episode up 10 minutes each week. I would legit watch this. I think a lot of people would. So good. And the way it's been presented as well. Incredible. Oh, it still goes. Does it still go? Ah, I haven't watched this far. <laughs> I hadn't watched this far. Wow. The Fiend showed up. Swerve. I didn't see that swerve come in. Wow, and then the door opens by itself. Legit, I would watch this. I'm watching it right now. Uh, so, reaching down, grabbing the lantern. We got the red light as well, which is uh, good to see. Very theatrical. With the mannerisms and everything. These costumes must have took ages as well. So long. Look at that. Wow. And again, the editing. Really impressive. I don't want to click off because I don't want to miss anything. <laughs> oh. Hey, how unusual is it for us to watch over two minutes of a video? That was so good. So impressive. So impressive. If I was that family, legit, I would have done that and I'd be like, oh my God, what are we doing next? Like, what are we going to do with this? Because, like, it's such a shame to just leave it at that, isn't it? Such a shame for that to just be, to be it. Really good. Really, really good. Well done, everyone. Uh, the real White Rabbit said, let's not forget that uh, Carrie and Cross once upon a time was the White Rabbit. Yeah, it's true. Uh, I believe in Lucha Underground. And uh, look at this. Carrion responded. I've got to tell you as well, Carrion is paying attention, man. He is paying attention. You tag him in something that kind of catches his eye, he responds. He's responded to so many people in our community. If you've got something worth saying uh, and that you tag him in, there's a good chance he'll respond like he has here. Look, he's responded to that with this gif and he's responded to a lot of people in the community so uh there we go carrion uh, as i said i've got all the time in the world for him i rate him very highly i think he's one of the most underutilized talents on the roster at the moment maybe ever um you know don't forget this is a nxt champion and he likes to tell us how many former world champions he's beaten it's got a great look, great presentation, great entrance. AOP are legit. Scarlet looks amazing. 
bright future still for Carrion. Bright future. I really hope this works for him and the Wyatt Six. I'm sure it will. I'm sure it will. Uh, Princess uh, Kutab Itch, thank you, my friend. You tagged me in that uh, uh, thing earlier, the uh, Carrion tweet earlier. So we've done Wyatt's. We've done WWE. Let's go. We've done Top Story. I think we've only got Fern Other and Thanks. Yes. I think there's quite a bit in Fern, actually. There wasn't much yesterday, but we've managed to get more today. Uh, we're going to start with Chelsea's Confessionals. Let's go. Do you not know I am a woman? When I think, I must speak. <laughs> Shakespeare quote. Roll the intro. <laughs> Chelsea! <laughs> Shakespeare quote. It's a tale as old as time. Chelsea Green just out here being her loving, kind, caring, compassionate, beautiful self, just minding her own business, and then BAM! Oh my god! Oh lash. No class, no elegance. Jakara, you're insecure. Don't know what for. Oh! Guess who didn't even have the gonads, the cojones, to show up for SmackDown? That's right, you got it. Michael McNasty Nasterson. Oh my god! <laughs> oh, shit. Get off me! I might vomit! You think I wanted to fall into his lap? I am a married woman. I came to SmackDown to confront him, and guess what? He was Michael McMissing. <laughs> Bring the signs, people. Bring Cold the signs. Fears. Chelsea. Bring the signs. In the club, we all fam. Except we aren't in the club, and we definitely are not fam. Remember that. Bring the signs. Bring the signs. That was the big takeaway. Cole fears Chelsea. I'll be really interested to see if they make appearances now. So really good. Really good. Uh, Bianca, this is the cutest pumpkin ever. Uh, check this. So we're starting to get superstar pumpkins. Look at that. I mean, is it calves? I don't know what the rules are. Um... Is this acceptable that we just paint it and we put, like, uh, braids on it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how the professional pumpkin decorating society are going to take this. And that is another organization that TKO are looking to purchase soon. So... <laughs> so there we go. It looked great, though. Oh, I love this. Uh, do you know what? I don't include... Well, he's a legend anyway. Um, I don't include people that are not really on the active roster, but I mean, look, he's a legend. We include legends. But I just love how he seems in such good spirits. He seems so happy at the moment. And I just love this little clip, 19 seconds. This is Mark Henry, who was voted. You owe it to yourself, your country, and everybody that made it so that you can vote to go and do so i did my duty oh yeah i said duty did you do your duty did my duty she did her duty she said she said duty <laughs> <You're> <laughs> i mean he's he's voted he's just took a moment to record uh he's included i think that's his partner i'm not sure sure but uh he includes uh, uh that miss part i'm gonna say his partner mm. uh and then like he's like she said duty yeah. and he's like you can just tell he's relaxed he's in a great frame of mind love seeing that love it right uh yeah oh my i got so many clips from this i think they've cracked it you know the shotzi and scarlet things on youtube and there are so many fun clips that people have sent me from it i think they've nailed the first episode back um there's a little five second clip here i can't show the others though because it's on youtube and i think i'll get hit with like copyright issues um but this one it's so short i think i'd be okay with this so this is just a real glimpse of uh, some of the fun they're having on that uh, YouTube uh, ghost hunting series. Right. So, boom, there we go. Look, opens the door as he can. Look at his face. So as he opens the door, I think this is Shotzi or Scarlet that have this. Boom, right in his face. 
<laughs> Genuine terror right there. Genuine terror. Oh, this was good. Do you remember yesterday we looked at Lexis King and he's going to be in a movie? Well, it turns out the shirt he was wearing is a shirt his dad wore. Uh, so John here said the T-shirt you're wearing, it looks familiar. Great Easter egg buds. How good is that? Didn't even notice. Didn't even notice. But he is wearing that shirt on the back of that new movie that's come out. It's, I think it's a straight-to-DVD thing that's available on Amazon. Um, what was the film called? Uh, it was called... Uh, if I can whoosh it. There it is. Look, there's him wearing it. Uh, you can now pre-order the DVD, The Charisma Killers on Amazon. There we go. So Lexis King on the back of this film wearing that shirt and it is uh, the same shirt that his dad wore. That's pretty fun, isn't it? That is a nice little Easter egg, I thought. That shirt right there. I don't know if it's the exact same one or if he just got one that was like it, but um, very good. Okay, look, there's Finn Balor, JD. They are at OTT Wrestling. I'm guessing meeting. I don't know if these, well, I'm guessing this is the roster. These are the people that are coming through that are training. What a special moment for them to be able to talk to Finn and uh, JD that are obviously on the main roster, WWE main roster. That's where all of these people want to get to. And I'd imagine there's wrestling schools all over the world with people that would love to get to WWE. So uh, amazing. Uh, JDS, uh, shout out to you. Charlotte Flair is applied to one of the trucks she is. So is Liv and Dom. They're on the side of some trucks, but we are seeing WrestleMania uh, wraps now on some of the trucks. So there we go. We've got Bianca. We've got Drew. We've got Seth. we got Charlotte. There's another one with Liv and Dom. Uh, Santa decides, I want followers that are cool with me saying that Undertaker and Kane are cool. If you're not, then why are you here? Bros were literally everyone's childhood. So um, I think there has been a backlash to Undertaker and Kane because they came out and supported Donald Trump. And so there's been a backlash online for that, which I think is a real shame because, you know, it's 50-50 at the moment. Uh, and I think... There probably should be some recognition of that, that this really is like split. I mean, really split, like to the point where half the roster, active roster, will likely go and vote for Donald Trump and half the active roster will go and vote for Kamala Harris. So um, I know there's red states and blue states and all that kind of stuff. But. Yeah, I mean, there are people that support Donald Trump. There are people that support Kamala Harris. Like, people are voting. They should vote. And if they're going to vote, they need to make their mind up who they're voting for. So I, I agree. There does need to be more understanding, I think, with this situation. But I know that politics is very, very fiery. Um, but, uh, yeah, Undertaker Kane, they've been uh, under fire. And uh, it takes Santa Claus to come out and basically say, look, they're cool with me right? They're cool. They were our childhoods. They can support who they want to support, whatever they think's right. It's not going to spoil anything. So there we go. I think I think some real nice words there from Santa. So uh, there we go. So Russell Knight, shout out to you. Uh, Edward, uh, shout out to you. Tag me in this from Becky. So Becky Lynch's next appearance revealed amid wrestling hiatus. So uh, there we go. She's going to be at a convention, a comic convention, uh, I think over in Los Angeles in November. So that's all that is. So she will be meeting fans. And it just dawned on me, you know, um, did we not have the Wyatt Six tweet in here? Where did that go? No, I got tagged in it so much and I retweeted it out. But for some reason, it didn't make it into the folder, which is a bit bonkers, isn't it? Uh, this was This is all it was, by the way. Um, so it's obviously just written backwards. Liars often set their own trap. Liars often set their own trap. That was the message from the Wyatt Six today. That was eight hours ago. I got tagged in it loads, so I got loads of people to thank. 
So this is our thanks folder. So uh, Wrestle Knight, thank you. JDS Aviation Adventures, shout out to you. Primo Ghost, shout out to you. Ashma, appreciate it, bud. TJF1983, Tim Craig, Howdy LFC, Bailey Turnbull, Thomas Scott, Lee Moyes, Wrestle Knight, uh, FGC, Dad's uh initial drive shout out to all of you guys and girls uh captive captive cap jackson <laughs> jackson oh one one uh six two two three uh wrestling fan since day one derez fan 2024 beverly shout out to you shout out to all of you edward duffy larry flowers j omega JDS Aviation Adventures. Uh, popular MM Oss fan. Uh, and uh, Sunny Wolf as well, of course. Uh, Aeros One, Chris Allen, uh, Kalen C, Sam, Raymond, Brandon, uh, Tubby Pancake, Stonewall 24, Benjamin Clark, Thomas Scott, Ashma again, Wrestle Knight again, Raymond. Uh, Stonewall24, shout out to all of you. I tried to include as many people that had tagged me in the Wyatt Six post as possible, which is why there's a lot more in here than usual. But um, yeah, appreciate it. Just appreciate people doing that. And um, I can't believe that didn't make it into the Wyatt Six folder. That's pretty bonkers, isn't it? But then I've had a busy uh, 24 hours, so uh, I will let myself off. And it still made the video, so it's fine. So there we go. We are done. We move on to SmackDown. We've got SmackDown live stream uh, later tomorrow, whenever you're seeing this. Uh, as well as that, of course, we have got this weekend's UFC. That's going to be big and early as well. Middle of the day for us, uh, start time, which means early morning for you in America. And then on Sunday, we've got NXT. Halloween Havoc, we've done the predictions on the second channel if you want to watch that video. So Wrestling Day's Opinions, uh, that is where we've got that video. So yeah, so much going on. Really appreciate the support. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you again next time. Bye for now. Donkey.